Our identity is we compete, we defend, we rebound. It's CDR all the way. That's what we preach day in and day out. Here we go, here we go. Next up, next up. But player development is the next biggest thing for us and, and continuing to strengthen our strengths, but also working on our weaknesses. The fun part in during our fourth year as a staff and program is we've improved every year. And I think that's something to take a lot of pride in is our player development, taking players from where they are to where they want to be. I feel like I've improved as a player in a lot of ways. Mostly my aggressiveness and just uh, confidence. Obviously my ability to shoot the ball has gotten a lot better and I've uh, gotten a lot stronger as well. We work hard, you know, whether it be in the weight room, in the, in the gym, we never take breaks. Like we're in here every day working. Improvement is key on our program. Uh, our coaches set three goals they want you to improve on and three goals that they just want you to strengthen that you're already pretty good at. Coach did a good job of getting in the gym with me and uh, he showed me on film after my freshman year that a lot of my shots were flat. So he wanted to get more arc on my shot. So he personalized that and he just wanted me to slow down and step into my shot and just make the shot comfortable. In order to develop as a player, not only you gotta have coaches that are committed to being in the gym with you and, and watching film with you and working on it, but that player's gotta buy in. If that player doesn't buy in to the improvements they need to make, they'll stay status quo. And I tell the guys all the time, you're either getting better or you're getting worse. There is no middle ground. Coach and the coaching staff do a good job of finding guys like hidden gems that are really good, but um, are, you could say are under-recruited or underrated, which um, give us a chip on our shoulder um, heading in the right direction. Good, good. Coach Wardle stresses, if you can make a, a big jump from freshman to sophomore year, then you'll do very successful in this program. Comes with a lot of time in the gym, gaining confidence, having your coaches believe in you like the coaching staff do. See me improve my shot and uh, after a while I got the click in my form was nice, uh, getting my feet right and now bring us to today, uh, I'm, I'm very confident in knocking down an open shot. Learned a lot from Tom Crean, playing for him when I was a player and I've definitely carried that over into our program. You learn the importance of repetition, studying your game and understanding what you need to get better at while also not losing sight on what you're good at. Sometimes coaches can lose sight of that. They'll just work on your weaknesses, but you'll never really realize, hey, he's great at this. So let's just keep working on that and getting that even stronger and better. So I really try to look at the positives in our players when they're all said and done and keep working on those areas. Yeah, I mean, I started off here, uh, I could always shoot the mid-range pretty well, around 15 feet. And uh, every year, moved it back further and further. And uh, coaches give me a lot of confidence in that and you know, give me the green light to shoot, which has helped a lot. Obviously, we all have individual goals, but I just want to show people that I can get my team wins. That's really the main thing for me right now. The ultimate goal is to win the conference championship, get an NCAA tournament berth, and try to make some noise and win as many games as possible in the NCAA tournament. We have very simple goals we need to meet every day, and that's on a personal basis. And I said, if we do that, the goals above us will happen, and we'll keep moving up the pyramid and the ladder of where our vision is and what our ultimate goal is. We focus on the process and not the results. Good things will happen for us, because the results will take care of itself.